So I just want to give you a quick example of what's going on uh, with our Play2 functionality. So what I have here on my main screen is I have an application that can share a uh, picture as well as a audio file. So you can see if I load this up, that it plays some music. And I have play and pause buttons down here, so I can hit pause and it'll pause. And if I hit play, it'll play. Uh, and then I also have uh, a video file. And you can see that when the video starts up, it's actually playing. Uh, it'll get into the actual live video here in a second. Hi, I'm Richard. This is Sarah. And we're going to perform the amazing color-changing card trick with this blue-backed deck of cards. So these are our three states to our application. I just want to demonstrate that we can share different types of media. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head, I have this application set up as a play to application, sharing out this content when necessary. And then over here, I have a separate tablet. This is, there's no wires attached to it at all. Um, this is just connected to my wireless network. And what we're going to do here is share the content directly from one device to the other. So what I've done here, and I, I've mentioned this to, uh, to folks um, in the article, is that if I open up Windows Media Player on any Windows 8 machine and open Stream, uh, and you can see this in the article as well. Uh, when I open the stream menu, uh, there's an option there that says allow remote control of my player. By turning that on, this makes that makes this device a Play 2 device that will show up in my system. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and open my charms bar. I'm going to go choose devices. And when I open the devices menu, you can see that my slate is, is showing up as one of the items. And if I go ahead and hit enter, you'll see that now my video has gone away from this screen. And on this screen, in just a moment, my video will start to play. So I jumped across, but you can see that uh, my video should actually be showing up here. So let me see what I'm doing. There we go. So I've gone back, and now you can see that the video is actually playing here on the tablet. Uh, if I go ahead and turn that in my application, if I hit the pause button over here, when I hit pause, it pauses it on the other machine. If I hit play, it plays it on the other machine. But it's actually streaming it directly across the wire, the uh, the air between these two devices, uh, and this also works for the other types. So the way I have my application currently built, uh, I have to disconnect and reconnect between each type of uh, media. I I don't have it recognizing each state. So I'm going to come over and turn my music on, and now I'm going to take that and I'm going to reconnect to devices and choose it again, and you'll see it stops playing on my main computer and comes out of this tablet as well. And you can see that now we're playing music off of the tablet rather than my computer. Uh, and then finally, I'm gonna disconnect one more time. And I'm gonna choose images. And in this case, it's just a simple image, right? But if I go ahead and open this up, go down to devices and choose my tablet one more time, you can see that I can push the image directly from one place to the other as well. So those are the three different things that we're doing in our application, and I just want to show that it's very possible. Um, but all we have to do is connect to a device that's ready for Play 2 content, and we'll cover that a little bit later in this article. Thanks.